Rwanda, Rwanda, Rwandans and, and beloved friends of Rwanda. Shame on us. We no longer have a church. We have turned our churches. We have turned our churches into kingdoms. Don't um, this is the word of God. Tell your neighbor let us build an altar of unity. There are days that you have seen people being filled of the Holy Spirit and on, on the street. But now we are speaking of the history as if you are looking in front while we are looking at the back. And we keep on saying once upon a time. That time of Sutium Hurunziza, that time long time ago. No revolution. Na kuteri mbere. No life. Na wisi mabutiri muri tukwebe. No burning fire to change. Na muriro utiri muri tukwebe wa ugu hindurisi. We are more protocol. Ugo ni protocol. Strategizing. Kuitara tukamera. Calculation. Imibare minis. Even hatred. Ndetse nurgu wango. It's been my 40 years in ministry. 40 years in ministry. When I see the people who were in the past that were burning, they were on the fire, but now they are no longer happy. I wonder what happened. When I, see, when I see a child who used to be at the carpet praying to God, they were full of fries. Now they are just full of fries. They do not miss God. When you see a church that used to live for hours, now they don't even kneel for 10 minutes. When I see a country that used to be on fire for God, it's been great revival from Gahini. It's now how now become only history. Masasu, I only accepted one thing in my life. Nineteen years back, I came to open new life. In a great humble beginning. And today we see a great advancement. Thank God for what He did. So without wasting time, let's go to the scripture. Isaiah 60. Three. The last two verses. Isaiah 63 verse 18 and 19. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you Sixty-four. It's a verse. It's chapter sixty-four. Isaiah sixty-four, verse eighteen. Abantu bawe bera bahategese igihe gito gusa. Abantu bacu bakuri batiye ubuturo bwawe bwera. Why in the saying, how about teaches a good teacher? Quanawe, how about teaches a quit your business? Jawe, the car, who make younger. Um, let me just take a breath on that verse. 
Umanuze sara vuga ati hari umunsi twategetse hari umunsi twayoborewe nawe hari umunsi twakomeye the, the prophet Isaiah was saying there is one day that we were led by you there is one day that we were brought by you Arkeje tubona iyo munsi we descend from what you did in the past but what we are seeing today bitandukanye cyane n'ibyo twabonaga mu minsi yashize Hari umunsi waso uyu bwoko bwawe there is a time that you visited your people Hari umunsi wakoze imirimo there is a time that you did great work Hari imisi yabonye imana igenda igenda There is a time that you saw God walking in your midst. There is a time that they saw us as your people. And they were seeing you as our master who was walking between us. And what is the most And which is also troubling. That the past days I have now been forgotten. Now it seems like we are leading ourselves where we are supposed to be led by you. Yakoze diagnostic, yakoze byabona rakati turasana aho twiyobora nta mana dufite. So he made a diagnosis he was saying is that if we are leading ourselves we do not have we are not led by God. There are days that you have seen people being filled of the Holy Spirit and on, on the streets. But now we are speaking of the history as if you are looking in front while we are looking at the back. And we keep on saying once upon a time. That time of Sutium Hunziza, that time long time ago. They had to they said to come the first verse they had given me first If you were to be from this chapter, if you haven't seen what was happening, then you wouldn't understand the history. This cry, that here, this cry that we see here, is the consequences of where they were standing now. Uh. They were missing the times of the past. They had a diagnosis of the current situation. And they prayed and they said this word. Oh! Oh! Actually, that's how that verse actually begins. He doesn't start, may you give us. He starts with a cry and says, oh! In other words, we are miserable. We are miserable. A long time ago, it was a good time. We have heard the news of the God that was here. No, you are not saying it well. You are not as sad as me. When you have seen God and you miss Him, you have tasted the presence of God. When God has already visited you, you start missing Him. When you used to see God sometime back, you saw him walking. You saw him real. When you no longer see him around, now you can shout. Look at the crowd. And the revival is real. 
provide it's re ni ni kuongera Remain back again. Remain it's used to love it again. We used to live. Vital. Dynamic. We miss it. We lose it. want it again. May you open up the heavens. No, not really open. Break the heavens open. Tear the heavens. Tear the heavens. Tear the heavens open. Oh! Oh! What's up with you? Tear open the heavens. And come down. And come down. And you visit us. And touch us. And you walk in our And you use us. And you will manifest your You do your own work. You do your own I'm going to stop here because I've, it's been my 40 years in ministry. 40 years in ministry. When I see the people who were in the past that were burning, they were on the fire, but now they are no longer happen. I wonder what happened. When I, see, when I see a child who used to be at the carpet praying to God, they were full of fries. Now they are just full of fries. They do not miss God. When you see a church that used to kneel for hours, now they don't even kneel for 10 minutes. When I see a country that used to be on fire for God, it's been a great revival from Gaini. It's now, it's now become only history. I only accepted one thing in my life. I will never regret. I shall never say the past was better than the present. Because that past was is gone. I should have been able to maintain it. Rwandans and, and beloved friends of Rwanda. We no longer have a church. We have gatherings. No revolution. No life. No burning fire to change. We are more protocol. Strategizing. Calculation. Even hatred. The Shame on me and on you. If you are on such state, let's cry. Oh! Oh! Revival is just God interfering in human business. 
it just you step out and God came in. Wowe uva munzira imana yugai kita buti kaza. Why revival? Kuberi si ubuze. When we have no revival, iyon ha ubuze buhari. We walk. We do. Turagenda. Tugakora. When revival is there, ari kiu ubuze buhari. He does. We uge arakora. When there is no revival, iyon ha ubuze buhari. We push. Ura suni kaza. Turaba bara turavunika. Where revival is there? Are you with Joseph, guys? This is me. Look at Ari. Everybody can see. God is here. God is here. God is here. Imana kokiri hano hano. So I stop there. Nje kule. Ichira honga hano. My wife will continue on how. Umudamu wajara jie kukomeza tu. By the way. By the way. This is our first ministry after 50 days locked in prayer. So. She didn't even minister. She didn't even minister back on her own church. Nanu kwe liya mginiza unitore nori jie. She came in church. 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 She came But I want to tell you what happened when we came first here in Rwanda in 1994. For you to be able to project and see how we are doing in these days. When I'm saying that I miss to see us together and look back in the past days I see how we used to go to the stadium who are, who are the ones who remember those times who are the ones who remember those times you won't go around the stadium that time it was not a, a minor stadium but you were in Yamirambo you were praying for a country and all together in unity then you would repent to God for our sake to Kihana we would repent for our people to Kihana but we would re and we would repent for the ones that we lead that is why today I praise I thank the servant of God so now I'm going to start dreaming to God so I'm trying to ask the the day when we are going to start to the congregation not that but not just a congregation I go to the and then we we'll start crying out to the Lord so that the heavens may open up so that the heavens will come down the time we saw God can you just praise God for so long no one is even in our weaknesses he manifested himself. he manifested himself. and we believe that Stop looking at where you are coming from. Stop looking at. Be patient with me. It's burning inside. Stop with all the protocols. They cannot entertain it. Stop with all the entertainment. Now we're doing the entertainment. 
It is not the time for entertainment. When we are seeing our children on the streets, smoking weed, our children are, are being pregnant out of marriage. There is a lot of sexual fornication in their marriages. It's being sexual abuse. We are seeing a lot of fornication, sexual immorality. I want to remind you that it has even come to the church. Are we going to continue smiling and looking at that? We are seeing people dying and they are diseased in front of us. No, 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 no. A center, a casa. And now we even have a cancer center. Do you, are you allowing that to happen? That is why we have today. We have to cry out. We have to cry out. The word of God says, I'm speaking quite fast because of the time is far gone. Because I don't want you to start going out. He just left Kabari, I'm a parent. They, they stay at the house of God from morning up to the evening. I think she had that began at three. Let's <laughs> the husband. To give you the steps. How we are going to stood up when first was sharing. I was saying he's, he's burning. It, I felt like he was burning things in my head. Have you seen that the name Chaya in Hebrew means a young girl, a baby girl? Ni revival. But no, it's also, revival. But it's also a revival. I didn't want to give life. There is included all the things that I have mentioned before. What we are seeing in the spirit, in the soul, in the character. We are seeing people with that character. And you start looking at our own relationships. That they say that we have hatred. I want you to be awakened so that you may see it starts in allowing God to agree with God you accept so you agree with God his burden you receive burden. I'm going to ask you today do you have the burden of God I want to remind you the burdens that you have uh, I want to receive a visa oh, I need to get married I need a husband should I continue should I keep going uh, to buy a house uh, do you have a house uh, business. Oh, I need a, I need a business. It is not, a, it's not bad. It is true. It's what God requires. But God seek. Seek first the kingdom of God. Let us agree together with God and receive His burden. <laughs> The projection, please. <laughs> the burden that you have today is to dress well. <laughs> Can you see that I'm dressed well? You see the one, your neighbor? Uh, is is uh, what uh, what kind of cloth is she wearing? <laughs> Those are the burdens that we have now. And then, you, and then you say, that comforts. Do you know all the things that she put on the clothes? Uh, because you are here in front, I'm going to be mentioning you. Are you getting it? 
Let me tell you this today. The first thing we have to receive God's power. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. After seeing the dry bones, the dry bones, I get a hope. He got to a point and he was looking and then God was telling him, go around and watch Are those dry bones going to become chaya? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Those dry bones, are they going to become shy? Those who understood well the meaning of shy, are those dry bones going to be alive again, made alive? Do this and look at your children, look at your family, look at your church, look at all those things that are surrounding you. Even if we don't, we do not have time. We would have uh, de detailed it. Let us receive God's burden. Let us receive God's burden. It is going to push you. You're going to have the eyes of the Lord. I'm still praying for those eyes. Because we are coming, we have come to a point. We have to bring a difference. A difference. Those who love God and those who do not love God. Those who serve God and those who do not serve God. The time has come. And it has come. We are not going to come and worship James. God bless you so much. Together, we have come. We are in a point where God wants us to receive His burden. How He has given us His servant. Is the only one receiving Tell your neighbor there's so much to be done. Look at their face and tell them there's so much to be done. There is a hunger. There is a curses on Our God, after he has spoken to Ezekiel, he told Jonah, even know that Esther, Esther came to a point where, where she was seated as a queen. She was very comfortable as much as we are very comfortable today. All the things that I've talked about, we go to church, we go to church, we go home, we meet with our beloved, and we say hallelujah, amen. But Esther, praise God because she had Mordecai. But God for she had Mordecai. I pray you may have the person who is going to push you. Even today I have come to push you so that you and me would start caring about those things that are surrounding us. That life of sin. Then to sing it if you manage. Rather, we should God, we should get what God desires for us. We should seek to find what God desires for us. Esther, God told her. Mordecai told Esther, but do it yourself. They should give us that verse. I'm trying to summarize. Then Esther, God told her through Mordecai. If you keep quiet, I want to tell you to tell your neighbor. If you don't keep quiet, Pastor Florence is keep on telling us. She's speaking in the moment. Let us thank her. May God give you your desires because you received the burden. Yes, 
a massive movement. If you do keep quiet, if you went me you are quiet, many are going to die when we are out looking. As we Let's see them dying. Many are going to have quarrels between them. Many are going to have pride. We are not going to be able to reach into our promises. If you want to reach into our promises, we should receive God's burden to run about Rwanda in our families. To you, I'm going to give you a small not a, not a bad attention points. Revival. Revival is going to begin by you. Before you are able to make the others get the revival, it is going to start from you to be revived. How God is going to revive me personally. It is going to overflow to my husband. To us, it is paradise. Even if you do not agree, just say amen. The reason I'm saying that, when you go into prayer, when you go into prayer, you ask me to give the testimony. We leave everything. Because of the burden that God gave me, we receive the burden and we go before God. The Bible says I only need one person that I'm going to give burden to so that they will be able to rebuild the temple. Remember Nehemiah? It is on the second point. The second point is, is to cry out. After receiving the burden, God is going to push you into seeking his face. He is not going to be seeking self-confidence. Because he knew you have that burden. Before God, you're not before God, you're not before God, you're not speaking in English and in Kinyarwanda, even in Lingala. He's only going to be seeking for your heart. Let us clap our hands for the Lord. God is going to need your heart. I want to tell you another point to pay attention to. There are times that you receive the burden. There are three things involved. The way that you receive the burden, you cannot just go and cry out. How are parents? You have to cry first. When a person is filled with sadness, and what the first son that shows sadness, you start crying. The same way that a servant of God, Nehemiah, came to a point. And he heard news. Then he heard that the temple had been destroyed. After hearing it, you know the story. He left. Agenda. He went. He went in the power of God. There was a great hand of God on his life. I'm still praying for that great hand of life. Then he went. He was crying. He prayed. And he was not just praying for just praying. He repented. He repented for his people. If there is something that we have to seek the revival with, we have to repent. Daniel also repented. And one thing that I love about Daniel and Nehemiah, they did not just pray for giving mere prayers. They consecrated themselves to God. They consecrated themselves they gave their bodies as living and holy sacrifices unto God. 
When we speak about fasting, that is the only thing that people know about us. But they don't know the power behind the fasting. Yo, I love. Munda. Munda chani. I love so much. Nehemiah fasted. Daniel fasted. Esther fasted. Jonah fasted because of the burden they had they cried out to God are we still together are you being blessed is the Holy Spirit speaking to your heart fasting one day and you keep on saying that time when you were back in Congo or that time back in Uganda uh, just say where you came from but today I have come to tell you fasting is to give God to give God way to pave the way for God to, for his hand to work in your life. Esther now in Esther she was thinking of going before the king am I going to be able to do it but because she fasted and prayed today I want you to have the thirst of fasting and praying receive the anointing of fasting and praying if we desire that today we see the hand the great hand of God the same way that Esther to the point where God made her an answer in the promises that he wanted to give her where the devil wanted the death of the people God turned the death and it became Shia say Shia say Shia say Shia he turned the whole country became Shia when I'm saying Shia it brings life the devil wanted to kill the whole country, the whole country. and then this woman of God says she rose the same way that Deborah rose as a, as a parent as a mother she sacrificed and she also gave her life she laid down her life and that now time for you has come for you to give your life I'm going to start with the nation and I'm going to speak in at the church I'm going to speak about your family and then I'm going to continue and speak about God wants you to give life he wants you to consecrate yourself to him this time people are saying you exaggerate let me tell you today there is no exaggeration even those people who are going in the forest so that we are able to have peace in the country they gave their life let us clap our hands for them for they did give their lives even as our time has come God desires the sacrifice tell your neighbor God desires a sacrifice because a sacrifice in uh, being slain in, when you are crying out to us because of the burden you are not going to consider the price to pay you are not, being cost, you are not going to be considered of the price to pay are we together let's say amen and the third thing be patient with me I'm going to close I'm not going in deep but today I want to tell you that even, even though we are going and praying and interceding but there are so many challenges so many walls there are so many strongholds 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 I want them to verses as we close but, but the fifth one is very, 
The third one is interceding. The same way that God sees, pray with us. Offer our body as a living and holy sacrifice. But then the other thing that he says, we have to prepare room. Oh, that's the third, the last one. We have to prepare the room. Do you know the, 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 the verse in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10? You can read it. Just take the point. Let us just take the third point. The, fourth, the fifth point the servants of God if your husband or your atara, spouse atara has not received yet the burden that you Na carry it is okay, it's fine but there are others who also carry the burden with you it's a amen let us build the altar of unity I have said we have turned our churches we have turned our churches into kingdoms Don't, um, this is the word of God Tell your neighbor, let us build an altar of unity. Even coming here, I thought we were going to be many. But the problem that we have, the challenge, started. we are scattered. We are not together in unity. But I say that if you want to see that unity or that revival, may God bring us back into unity. Remember, remember the prayer. Remember the prayer of Jesus. He prayed. Amen. Let them be one. Building unity. To me, to, to us as our church. We have something that is called a prayer tower. I'm going to bring you back in the past. In telling Penina, the servant of God. And I'm looking at all the others that we started the work of God in the league. Who are those who remember those who were serving together back then? You can lift up your hand. If you are able to stand up, I'm going to even look for you. I'm going to come and look for you. Because this prayer shire needs a prayer that are in unity. Even though we do not meet, but where your brethren is, your sister is, let us bring together in unity. Unity brings anointing. And that anointing is going to bring forth those who are close to us are going to be transformed. If those who are at our workplaces it is going to keep on being spread and spread even more. I say that how Jonah he refused to obey God. That time he did not receive the burden. He hadn't received the burden. But after he received the burden do you know what happened? He went unwillingly. But when he got there God did a great miracle. So that's where I'm going to end at. He prayed. And he said after 40 days, God is going to destroy Nineveh. He prayed. He was telling them to repent. Repent. The time has now come. But what I thank God for is how he received the burden. God even touched the heart of the king. 
and the whole world, the whole country, the whole nation, they humbled themselves. They humbled themselves. That is the unity that I want to talk about. The unity in our churches. The unity in the country. Wherever we are coming from, we bring the unity. I'm ended. I have ended. God bless you. The Saka Daddy, I want to request Daddy now to speak about the strongholds. When he was explaining to us why prayer, there is one thing that he told us. I want him to explain Jeremiah chapter, chapter 1. Verse I'm humbled and praise God because I'm humbled. Thank God for your patience. Thank you, Florence. And for Pastor Florence, let these words build our hearts. I love you. And we are together. God bless you. Let us stand up and hold together uh, our hands together. To share good chang, we come this way. Yeah. To share a good chang, just hold together. Yeah. In the few minutes. Uh, we are going to cry out to God. Because we cannot say we are crying out when we are not applying what we are saying. Even though it's a short time, but we believe the God of eternity was going to do good to us. So what are we crying to the Lord for? We want our country, our land, our nation to be ready. Uh, to receive to be visited by God and for God to enable us to be those vessels that are going to be able to trigger the flow of life that heart of repentance the heart of crying out to God will be our portion and we are going to break all the strongholds that are between us breaking our unity. We believe that God hears our prayers and he is able to come to our help. This holy gathering can be a beginning of great things. Who knows what God is going to do starting from today? Who knows how God is going to visit us and change time? There are strongholds in our life that needs to be destroyed. There are altars of the enemy that have rose for our country. We have to destroy, to unroot, and then plant the others. Because our weapons have power. Starting from praying to God to be able to break all those strongholds. In these few minutes, I want you to cry out as I cry out as well. As we are holding together, as in unity, seeking it together. Let us pray. Oh God, thank you. Mani kome, mani tangaje, mana yumba gutaka, mani tabara, mani jinsi tini zina.